Hi, how you doing? This is Steven from Ask One Mac Tech. In this video tutorial, uh, I want to show you how you can uh, netboot your machines across subnets. Um, I know that I'm not the only person having this problem. Um, I work for an educational institution and I, for years, for years, I could never ever be, uh, be able to see my server. I could never netboot my machines from my server in another, another building to image my labs. We'd have to create external drives with uh, Deploy Studio on there and server installed and, and netboot our machines that way uh, from a laptop or from an iMac or something. So, you know, that's what we did for years. And um, I started digging around on, you know, doing a search and I found a website where uh, um, I copy and pasted this command in, um, actually two of them, and it worked beautifully. I'm telling you, it worked beautifully. So I wanted to make this video to show you what worked for me. Um, I don't know if it'll work for you, but uh, this worked for me. So I want to help you guys out there, whoever is having this problem. So basically, I uh, did a Google search, netboot across subnets, mountain lion. And I came across this. I'll put the link in the description so you can click and check it out. Um, but I came across, I was scrolling down, and I came across this thread here. And this is the command. So I had to uh, type some different uh, things in there, and I'll show you what I did for me, and this is exactly what you have to do on your end. And uh, put it in, uh, copy and paste in the terminal, put my uh, administrator password in there, and then I put another command in there, restarted, boom. It's, it, saw, it, it saw the server, the MBI file, booted right up, and I was able to image my labs instead of carrying an external drive around to all these buildings, you know. So let me show you exactly what I did here. I um, put it in a, a text editor here, text edit, and um, I added sudo bless, and then, or actually bless was this, this is the command from the form, I just added uh, sudo. So what you do is uh, you paste this in, but you want to edit it first. So what, uh, basically you want to put the IP address of your, uh, your server in there and, your, and the right NBI file that you created. Um, on your uh, in your deploy studio so basically what this is here uh, let me um, find mine uh, let's see am I the right no actually nope one sec here let's see where is it that boot here okay so basically is my MBI file right here, okay? So basically, this, this is the command. So what you need to do is copy and paste this here, and then right in between here, you put your IP address of your server, okay? And then, of course, it's netboot slash netboot SPL, which is this, this here, netboot SPL, boom. Here's the NBI file. So this is what, the default here that uh, Deploy Studio creates when you're creating the uh, netboot set? So you want to put exactly what you type in here i mean if you're gonna if you're gonna leave it as default then you leave this as default you don't change this but you type in if you're gonna rename your nbi file okay when you're creating your netboot set you copy and paste in here or type it in here and then you go along here and then you put your uh, ip address in here again of your server and go along here and then do it again here uh, either cop, uh, type it in or paste in your uh, nbi file that you named or if you renamed it and then go along and right here you want to put your IP address of your server again and then right here change it again here okay and that's basically it and then you take this and uh, right click copy open up terminal and when this is started you want to paste it in and hit return okay just like that all right, and then you put your administrative password in there. Okay, put your administrative password, whatever you're using. And then when it's done, then this is command, this is command I run here, uh, right here, just copy and paste it. And right here, put your server IP address right in there. Okay, and then once you hit retur and, uh, return, it's going to restart your, your machine. And immediately, I mean, boom, it's going to restart your machine and then just wait and then you should see, it should see 
your MBI file. You should see your server, your MBI file, and you should be able to go, get to Deploy Studio Runtime. And then you'll be able to image your Mac. So you want to create your workflows and all that stuff. So that's exactly what I did. Okay, so basically you, you um, copy this in, configure it with your IP address and your MBI, MBI file, and if you renamed it, um, and you paste this into Terminal here, and then you put your password in. And then after you put your, I won't do it here because it'll restart my machine. And then after that, you uh, just copy and paste this in, but remember to put your IP address of your server in here. And uh, then you hit return and uh, it should restart, okay? So that is basically how you do it.